For this lesson, you are going to learn how to calculate slope given two points or two ordered pairs. So first, let's talk about the four types of slopes that we've already discussed in class. <clears throat> first, we have positive slopes. Those would be lines that rise as we go from left to right. We have negative slopes. These would be the types of lines that decline as we go from left to right. We have a zero slope which is just a horizontal line. And then we have an undefined slope, which is a slope of a vertical line. So for this lesson, um, we're gonna talk about, if I just give you two random points on any one of these lines without graphing the line, how could you find the slope? So what we've done in classes as of now is I've given you a line and you found two points along the line and you have counted the rise over run. So <clears throat> that's the first thing is you can be given a graph and you can count the rise of a run. Or we've also talked about that the change in y and the change in x. How much did the y value change? How much did the x value change? And now here is our new equation. So this is red, y sub two minus y sub one, and then x sub two minus x sub one. The ones and twos are just, they're not exponents, they're subscripts. They just let you know that this y value would be different than this y and the same thing with the x values. Those are two different x values. And so since we can't just say x minus x, because that would be the same variable, we give them the sub numbers so that we know how to use them. So here's our first example. We're gonna use a formula and the directions are gonna say, calculate the slope between these two points. So option one is you could always take graph paper, plot those two points and count your rise over run. That's a little time consuming. Once you start using the formula, it's very easy to calculate the slope. So here's, again, here's our formula. So you are given two order pairs. Each of those order pairs has an x and a y value. So the y sub two means we're gonna take the y value from point two, which is three, and substitute it in. Bring along the subtraction sign, y sub one means from point one, we're gonna take the y value, which is two. And now we do the same thing for the x values. x sub two from the point two, we're gonna take the x value, which is seven. The formula has a subtraction sign. x sub one, go to point one, and we take the x value, which is zero. Now we just need to calculate. Three minus one in the numerator is one. Seven minus zero is seven. And we get that the slope is one seven. Same thing, we're going to use the formula to calculate the slope between these two given points. And there's a formula. So y sub two will be the y value from point two. And all we have to do is just plug it in. Bring over the subtraction sign. So y sub one is the y value from point one. x sub two, the x value from point two. And then x sub one is the x value from point one. And now we just need to finish our calculations. Negative three minus two in the numerator is negative five, and then four minus one in the denominator is one. And so our slope is negative five. Next question. So same thing, I've given you two order pairs. Each order pair has an x value and a y value, and we're just gonna substitute in. So y sub two, I'm gonna to go to the point two, I'm gonna take the y value, which is negative five, bring over the subtraction from the formula, y sub one, I'm gonna to go to point one, the y value is negative three. x sub two, I go to point two, and the x value is negative six. And then x sub one, from point one, the x value is negative two. So the only thing we need to fix with both of these is we have a minus and negative, so we need to change those to plus a positive. And now just do our calculations, negative five plus three, negative six plus two, and we have a fraction, which we are going to write in reduced form, so our slope is one half. So that means on a graph, we would be rising one and running two. Okay, let's do one more example. So y sub two, I'm gonna go to the second point and write down the y value. Bring over the subtraction sign, I'm gonna to go to point one and take the y value, which is seven. 
In the numerator, I'm going to go to point 2 and take the x value. And then minus, I'm going to take the x value from point 1. Now we just need to finish our calculations. 3 minus 7 in the numerator is negative 4. 4 minus 1 is 3, so that means our slope is negative 4 thirds. I hope you look, learned something new, and I look forward to having you in class.